Kings, 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 kings. We're king fishing today, folks. Yep, I got a six hour. Apparently the report is that there are pogies out today. So that makes my life a whole lot easier. I hate jigging bait. Jigging bait's the worst thing ever. So yeah, I'm running late, so I can't really talk. But stay tuned, y'all. Kingfish coming up. Oh my god, I think I got some. Yes, sir. Good. Lord. There we go. You need some help picking it up? I got it. There's one right in here. I tasted some salt water. <laughs> All right, boys. All right, gentlemen, let's go fish. Thank God for pogies. Oh boy, easy bait. Some I'll never ever take for granted again. Thank God. Alrighty, we're gonna go offshore and troll for some king mackerel. Yeehaw. Let him run. Oh, we got a lively one, folks. Here, he's gonna swing around. Keep the rod down. Ah, right, we're gonna let him, we're gonna get him around the bow here. Heads up, guys. Heads up. Hey, heads up. We got a lot of people up there. <laughs> a lot of big boys up on the bow. Here, careful. Watch that anchor shoot. Here, watch out, watch out, watch out. I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh, God. All right. <laughs> puffing and puffing, baby. Oop. You alright? <laughs> alright, I need you to come back here now. <laughs> I got you, follow me. <laughs> Ring around the rosy. Ring around the rosy, baby. Round and around we go. You wouldn't know Kelly W, Kelly W, you out there? I think we're doubling up. I can't even keep a bait out. This is the best problem to have ever. Yes, sir. Keep it nice and tight, fish. They're super, super soft bows. There you go, David and David, baby. <laughs> go, buddy. Well, we got this one in here. Started off. Not two minutes later, we got two more on. This is nice. I like this problem. <laughs> Keep on going. Not for anything right now. Look at this. Got doubles on. I literally can't keep a bait in the water without getting bit right now. This is nuts, cuz. Yep. Well, unfortunately, I had GoPro issues, so he didn't send me free gap this CUDA. You got half of our fish right here. I literally can't keep a bait in the water right now. I'm surprised we haven't gotten bit again already. <laughs> this is insane. I like this. I like I like easy fishing. How about that, guys? That's you right. like quick fishing right there? Yeah, sir. <laughs> we'll take it. I'm not complaining here. Goodness, this boat is a wreck. Yeah, free gap in that CUDA. Not good for the cleanliness of the vessel. <laughs> run. Let them run, baby. They won't stop. They won't stop today, folks. Alrighty, come on now. Nice fish. Nice fish. Apparently. Apparently. <laughs> Got a pal hook. That'll make it much easier. Nice king, guys. Nice kingfish. Huh? Nope. Oh, come on now. Yeah. Absolutely. King mackerel. <laughs> he ain't worked out in a while, have you? No. I couldn't tell. I'm a dump truck driver. <laughs> All right. There we go, guys. Good looking king mackerel there, guys. I literally can't keep a bait in the water. This is insane. Every time I got a fish, another one bites. <laughs> this is a great problem. There you go. Another one. Out of way, guys. Picking some tail, cuz. Won't stop. It won't stop. Let me get it. Reel on him, reel on him. Reel, 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 reel. Fast, fast, fast. Reel, 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 reel. Don't snag. Oh Don't my snag. god, it won't stop. This is awesome. There you go. Keep tying on a bud. Let him run if he wants to. <laughs> this is great. Man, this is great. <laughs> there he is. Oh. There he goes. <laughs> Come here, slimy. Hey, he just had the water. There you go. Another 
Good job. 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 Yeah, I guess I don't want to speak that way. He ain't got it up yet. Yeah. Oh, no, get up. Get his up. Get his up. Oh, dang. Oh. Here, bud. Did you Come see that? Come on back. Come on back, buddy. Come on back, buddy. Come up there and got his Here, fish. Pull, pull that way. Is that a barracuda doing it now? Oh, you were screwed, barracuda. I'm going to stick your ass. ass. Yes, sir. <laughs> Did you see that? We got him. Did you see that? Holy crap! I'll tell you what, these these boys are keeping me busy today. I'm sweating bullets right now. You guys are kicking my tail. <laughs> I'm all for it. You got it? Yeah. Right here. Sorry. Oh, down here. Get him, David. <laughs> this is awesome, folks. This is a full speed body kingfish right here. Oh no, Kuda! Don't do it. Don't make me stick another one. Don't make me do it. I'll do it. I ain't scared. How are we doing over there? Good. All right, you can come. Big lift, big lift. Oh. All righty. You guys are killing it. This is fun. I'm having a good time. I know you guys are too. <laughs> Full speed kingfish. Oh boy. Nice fish, guys. Oh, oh, oh he, saw, he saw the gas and was like, no, I don't want it. <laughs> I forgot about it. He went, he went because my right. off. Yeah. A couple more cranks and one big lift, and he's done. So everybody's got two exceptions. Grandpa. Grandpa. And yeah. 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 Nice fish. Yeah. Another nice fish, guys. Yeah, it is. Oh, pulled off right there. Dang it. Let's swing around. Let's, 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 let's. There you go. Ooh, barely got him. <laughs> right by the skin. All right. There you go. Good job. Well, it looks like we're back on the double train, baby. We're back in the same area where we started, so. Looks like we found the water fish. Luckily, no one's around here right now. Hey. Oh, no. got another one. Woo! I'll take it. I'll do it. All right. I got him. Bring him in, Tyler. Boom. Back in the realm of doubles and triples. I can't even put a bait out right now. <laughs> there he goes. You got a streamer. Yeah, Don't let him whip you. Don't let him whoop you. Oh, tiny. Might be legal. It looks like borderline or pretty small, so there's no, there's obviously a lot of kingfish here, so no sense of wasting one of our fish on a teeny tiny one. Getting a decent sized grade here. Doing good. Number three is a triple. Let's go. Three for three. Three for three. Three for three. Pull him up now. He's a foul hook. That's why he's acting. That's a little better. Better. Uh, I don't know, borderline too. Long coming, baby. Now the gunner, you know, you're going to buy that ship. Shoot on the big ship out there. That's where he's at. Oh, he's right there. Oh, yeah. Trying to lose him. There we go. Oh, God. Trying to lose him again. Well, that one might be our limit. We got to count these yeah. fish right here. Uh, I'm going to get us in a direction we don't hit anybody. We're going to start pulling these things out. Hey. Four again. Bam. Six. Six. <laughs> Starting at 11, so uh, we keep on catching Three a couple. Three more. Yep. All right. There you go. Another double, baby. Perfect. Keep it tight, guys. Don't reel him, Bubba. Hold it. See him. That big lift. Lift, 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 lift. Yeah. Uh, 
Another successful double. We got one more. Then we got a limit, folks. We gotta go do other fun stuff. How about that? Doubles all day. Limits in minutes. Well, we were getting doubles full speed. It took us long enough to hook this last fish. We'll see if we can get him in. If we get him in, that's a limit, which is pretty uh, damn good for seven people on a short trip. So we're gonna try to make it happen. Keep reeling, keep reeling, keep reeling. This one that we got hooked on the downrigger is starting to act pretty sharky. So I left the bait out and looks like that was a good idea. So this is definitely a kingfish. Came up and boiled on this short bait. Hey, you just stepped up here. No, I see him. Right. Oh, you got it. Good job. Good job. Right boys. I'm the king right there. Yeah. Having fun yet? That thing just ripped off a whole bunch of more lines. We, we went about a half mile away from the spot where we hooked them and then we're heading back in the same direction. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna make it all the way back. <laughs> uh, He's doing good though. Atta boy. You gonna sleep well tonight. Alrighty, so that was definitely a big shark and we pulled it off, or we broke it off rather. So we're gonna start heading in the direction of home. We might stop and catch a shark on a shrimp boat if there's one there. They weren't there yesterday, so I'm not hopeful, but if they're there, we'll catch them. If not, I'll see you at the dock. <laughs> Guys, check it out. They're on the bow. Check them out. Be careful looking over the side. Oh no, they did. Ah. That's cool. I love these things. I love flipper. Where'd they go? Dolphins riding the bow. Must be going a little fast for them. There they are. Check them out, guys. Check them out. Be really careful. See them? There's one right there. And they're right under the bow. Come and check them out, guys. They're under the bow right now. Well, it looks like we annoyed them. <laughs> they dipped out of there back there. That's why you gotta love fishing offshore. You always see something cool. Always an experience. Yeah. Oh boy, she loaded down. That's a full car right there. Alrighty, back at the dock. We have a ton of fish to clean. I think I'm about to break this cart. It's like sideways. That don't look right. We'll see if I make it up the ramp. Boy, but yeah, we got a pile, a pile of fish to clean. Pile of them. Great problem to have. All right, King Mackerel. Small ones are really easy to clean. I'm doing a small one today. Uh, I'll show you the quick way to do it. The really easy, quick way, time saving, whatever. All right, so come in here. Obviously do a cut like that. If you want to save time, you can literally just go down the side, just like that. With these smaller fish, you're really not gonna lose that much meat. You know, it's like, you're you know barely losing anything, really, you know, that much on the filet isn't a whole lot and it saves you a ton of time and uh for freezing these things boss man told me the best way to do these things for freezing is instead of skinning it what you want to do is just just like that just cut it into chunks this way it freezes better and uh, you know it lasts longer because this stuff kingfish is generally a mushy fish the bigger they are the mushier they are so if you do it like this, apparently they freeze better. I don't know personally, this is what I've been told. So, and also, so if you want to cook it with the skin on, you can like pan sear or you can bake it just skin side down. If you want to fry it, what you want to do is just come in here and then after you just defrost it, obviously come down and just fillet it off in there. Just like that, easy enough. All right, I'll see you guys in the kitchen. <laughs> Grilled King mackerel. Uh, not a huge fan of kingfish, but I actually had some yesterday for lunch and it's really not as bad as I remember it, but we're gonna grill it. I got the coals going out there. Really easy, just gonna wrap her in tin foil right here, put some olive oil on it, Chef Paul. Easy as that, put it on the grill. That's what we do on this channel. We do easy stuff, but it's really good easy stuff. Like I said, just a hair, a little bit of olive oil, and we're gonna mix it around. Get it all over each filet. All right, Chef Paul. I like a lot of Chef Paul. I like me some spices. Go the other, oop, one more right there. Flip her over, do the other side. She 
ready for the grill, y'all. She ready for the grill. All right, so we got it on the grill. And I was gonna cover it, but I kind of like the smokiness that's coming out of here. So I think I'm just gonna leave it open and uh, just flip it. So we're waiting. Just put her on, I'm gonna close the lid. See how it goes. All righty, all righty, how we looking? I'm pretty damn good right here. Hmm. More time on the flipper real quick. Looking good. I mean, I kind of messed that up. I'm all kind of stuck to the tin foils. What happened? Yeah, it's kind of sticking. I don't know. Well, actually, I'm going to leave this one unflipped and see how that goes. And these two are thicker. I don't know. I kind of wish I covered it now because it looks like it's drying out a little bit. You can kind of see how it's drying out, but it doesn't look that bad. I'm going to give it a couple more minutes. Give it a couple more minutes here. Alright, I'm uh, looking done. I think this piece looks pretty done too. I'm gonna open her up and check it. Oh yeah, it's cooked all the way through. Maybe I didn't have to turn those other pieces either. It's pretty hot in this grill. We're gonna give it a try here, guys. Alright, so it's looking pretty good here. I'm gonna try the uh, one of the pieces that I flipped over first. It's still pretty moist, even though it doesn't look it. This, that's pretty good actually. Kingfish is pretty underrated in my opinion. I mean, a lot of people like it, but it's not necessarily something that you are sought after, like grouper snapper, but... Mm. No, this piece looked pretty dry. It's kind of dry, but it's not bad. And here's the piece that I didn't flip. That's pretty damn good there. I kind of wish I didn't flip the other two. It's really, really moist on top. That's, that's some damn good fish right there. Well, yeah, there you go. There's some black and kingfish on the grill. Guys, if you like this video, subscribe, like, leave a comment, give me cooking tips. I'm not great at cooking, but I'm on this journey with you. If you wanna come fish with me, go to teambuckrogers.com. We do four to 12 hour charters, and uh, we'd love to come see you, and I'd love to make a video with you. Guys, I will see you next time. Love y'all.